Hey, I'm Ash with Kick Ash. I'm redoing this gray baby changing table. First thing I did was clean it thoroughly. It's gone through two babies already. This will be the third baby to use it. Here I'm applying a bonding primer. After it had two coats of the bonding primer, I'm now going in with a flat top coat. This one's by Paint Couture to um, get the base for my decoupage paper. Of course, I'm using Roy Cycle Treasures. Um, decoupage paper it's the new one from the new release collection it is amazing i love the grungy gears look onto it and um, my husband is actually an aircraft mechanic and so this is a piece that's going to coordinate with a piece i did for him so that him and his son can have uh old man young man furniture together i know it's kind of corny um this will be baby number four so i want and the only boy in the family so i want him to have something unique and boyish as you can see here i'm decoupaging in sections so i did the top section laid it down i'm smoothing it then i'm going towards the middle lifting up where i need to putting more um more of the top coat uh, i am not top coating on top yet just on the base. I find it's easier when you need to manipulate it and smooth it out to wait until you get it how you want to put the paste over the top. You really wanna make sure all those corners and edges are secured so you don't have anything popping up. Um, Roy Cycle Paper is really good for, for doing this, for, for lifting and maneuvering while you're working with it is what I mean. So here I am putting all that down. Now you wanna be very careful and not overwork it. The worst thing you can do is to keep touching it, keep trying to lift it, keep poking at it because you will tear it or make a boo-boo. And I do end up doing that here. Thankfully with my style, I can fix it with paint, but um, you know, you can preach, 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 don't overdo it, uh, but actually not overdoing it are two separate things. Right there, I made the boo-boo, but we will fix that. <laughs> But for the rest of it, I got a very smooth, nice um, lay for this paper. And now I'm doing the bottom section. Now you can see here, I'm finally going over the top with the clear coat to get it smoothed out. Now I'm going up to the center strip on the changing table and the side panels. So I'm doing the same technique, same way, just on the different sections and trying to lay it over the rounded corners, which can be tricky. Here's how that looks. Now I'm going in with a dark, uh, dark brown paint that has texture in it. Here's that first base coat. So there is a texture powder in with the paint to give it um, a good bumpy grunginess. This is just the first coat. You can see how I worked it onto the paper and covered up that boo-boo. Now I'm going in with my other colors to layer, layer over top of that. This is Wise Owl's Military Bronze, which is a earthy military green color. I'm also using that same brown color, which was Mr. Bean by Good Bones. I'll also be using Iron Oxide by Wise Owl for a rusty look to it. Uh, I'm using my Mr. Bottle and I'm using two different brushes for the different brown and diff you know, and green colors. And this is just a rough blend. Like it's, it's a smooth, very cohesive blend in that you can't see where the brown ends and the green begins, but it is very um, messy and grungy and looks like it's been worn in spots and dirty and aged and that's the look I was going for like a dirty mechanic box changing table if that makes sense at all to anybody <laughs> but really the good thing about you know when you really want to use your mister bottle is that when your first coat has all that texture in it you really need the water to help seep down in all the different nooks and crannies that the texturizer makes and um and can cause bumps so if you're not careful you'll still have see-through spots so you really need to work that down in there and as you can see here i'm okay with some drips and um just more grungy the better
And here I am now going in with the iron oxide and I'm only putting it in certain places like corners, edges, um, almost dry brushing over texturized spots to give that rusty look and make it look as organic as possible and really blend it in so you don't have any bright, you know, red or orangey spots, but it does look like true rust aged in there. Now I am sealing the piece, the front of it. This is an easy peasy spray on wax because um, I'm trying to be easy peasy, pe easy. Um, this is a piece for me and I am pregnant. So I know what this wax does. I know what kind of wear and tear this piece will have. And I know if I need to, I can always touch it up, fix it, change it, whatever. So uh, first I'm going to wax everything before I go in with my decorative wax. So after that was done, here I am going in with my decorative waxes. I'm using my absolute favorite that goes on almost every piece of mine. It's uh, Spanish Copper by Rub and Buff. I'm also using Dixie Belle's Black Wax, um, the redesigned by Prima's Copper, and which is a more it's a more of a metallic penny copper. So you get the rusty older copper, the brighter newer copper. Both catch the light beautifully. So I'm interchanging between those three things and here and there adding just a touch, just a touch of bronze gilding wax also by Dixie Belle so that in the right lights, you know, the, it catches, it shimmers, but it also in other lights has a grungy, true metal metallic look to it um, that I find they all play well together. And here you can see when you hit those notes of those that combination of colors on corners and edges like you'll see here on the store they just play beautifully together and the black wax really helps bring that grunginess all together tie it all in and give it a true organic um, dirty feel And here it is, the close-up of the paper. You can see it already has rusty elements in it and how beautifully it laid down, didn't need any touch-ups. And here is the final piece. I love the way the light catches on those copper edges and metallic points. It has this metal grungy, like a real man has worked with it feel. Um, but it's going for my baby boy. I can't wait to see my son on it. He's probably gonna pee all over it. Uh, but I am Ash with Kick Ash. Follow me everywhere.